So like a lot of other musicians, whenever I put out songs through my artist name, which is fan fiction, I like to um, hold all my songs in a software called Disco. If you're not familiar with Disco, it's something that a lot of li licensing agents and music supervisors use. And so therefore a lot of um, artists are now using because it's an easy way to pitch your songs and send them all your metadata for each song quickly and they can import it into their library instead of using like uh, Dropbox or Box.com or SoundCloud. So I strongly advise using Disco. It's a pretty awesome tool. I have no uh, affiliate with them. They're just a great company. But I want to show you a little bit about how I update the metadata within Disco. Um, as you guys know, updating metadata is a huge headache. Every time you distribute a song or put songs, you know, anywhere, you're always having to fill out things like schedule A's and things like that. It's a super annoying and there's no real slick answer to it all. That being said, I think it's extremely valuable to have a way of tracking all your metadata in one place so that anytime you need it, you can quickly get to it without any, um, without, a, without a big headache. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you how I use Gizmo. Gizmo is a tool that I created and it's free. You're welcome to use it. Um, it's built within Airtable. Airtable is kind of like a database tool, sort of like Excel, but Excel in 3D really. Uh, and it's an amazing way of tracking your information. And so when I do have to update my songs within Disco, it's a lot easier for me. It's not as big a deal. Um, and I just kind of want to show you that. So in Disco, when you open up a song, you're going to see a ton of um, areas to update. So let me just show you real quick. Uh, full track info. So this is an area you would update the song with all the different information. And uh, I kind of go overkill on this because it is just something that I think is very impressive to a lot of licensing agents when they see that you have all your ducks in a row and it makes it that much easier for them to want to license your song. So what I do is I actually, um, I, I go ahead and fill this out, th these sections out in the song, but then in the comments area, I actually just grab the metadata for my song and I have this report function where I can just go in here, find the song I want. I think this one was called Not Alone. I open it up and um, I have a, this report is automatically being built by all the, uh, the information in Gizmo. So I can just copy that and then just paste it directly in here. I also like to copy it and paste it into the comments area. And the reason why is when you do it this way and then check this box off here, after you do it, anytime you type a comment here and check this box and hit add comment, then when the licensing agent sees your song and you send them a link, they'll have this little comment button right here and they can just roll over and see all the information really quickly without having to go into the song and the lyrics as well. And the lyrics are updated right here. There's another tab for that. So I strongly suggest doing this. It might be a little bit overkill, but Hey, it's a good to err on that side, in my opinion. So if you're curious about how I can build these reports so quickly in Gizmo, it's because I use several different tables. They call them tables in Airtable instead of tabs. But the different tables actually come together and create this giant report for me really nice and easy. And I can actually see it in a PDF view as well. So there's an app I've built within Gizmo that makes it look nice and clean. So I can open this up and I could print this out or copy it as a PDF and uh, give this to somebody. So it has all the information about my song in here. Uh, so the way it's built, just really quickly, I have a whole video on this that explains a lot more, but you put all your creatives, all your contacts and songwriters and people that are working on your song, you put them over here in this area here, the creatives area, all their, their IPI numbers for the writing, publishing, and and uh, if they have a, a publisher and contact information, stuff like that. And then in the songs tab or table, <laughs> you add a song. And after you add the song, you go in and add who the artist is and you, you select all the stuff, but it's actually selecting it from the other table and bringing their information in. And then you actually put in their songwriting and uh, the songwriting, publishing and master owner information. They go in different tabs that gets rolled up and brought back over into the songs. Why do I do it that way? It's because I can, instead of having 
um, multiple cells for the songwriter. Let me open this up just a little bit more. So for this one here, um, let's look at this one. Changes in the air. Instead of having a, two different cells here in Excel or Google Sheets to put all this information in, um, any, let's say I was working with a song that had six writers, then I'd have to keep adding columns, right? I'd have to find a way to add them in or just type them all in manually in one row. This way, anytime you add a song, it appears in these other tabs for you, it just pops up, and then you can add in any percentages you want and do as many writers, as many publishers as you want in here, as many master owners as you want, and it rolls it all together in these little columns here. And then you put in the rest of the information like description, album, release date, keywords. Uh, you don't have to use all these different metadatas, but I like to use a lot. I have personal notes in here. Um, and then I even have the album covers, the, who's worked on the album art, like if I use an artist, uh, a link for disco, a preview start time, and then who to contact. And after I put all that stuff in, and also any PDF agreements, after I've done all that, then in the reports area, I just can select any song I want, like this one here. I'll open that up. And it's rolled up all that information into text for me. So it's really nice and clean. And then if, if there's something in here that I don't want, like I don't really need uh, the recording details, I can just go over here and uncheck that area and it'll just take it out of that report for me. Or maybe I say the listen to link, I don't really need that. We can just uncheck that and it'll take that out or the lyrics or whatever it is. So I've kind of grouped these, this information into different groups and it builds this report for you. Now you can just copy that and paste it right into your song. So you'd go into your song uh, like this and then I paste that whole thing right in the comments area. And uh, then I take some of the information and put it in here too. Again, unfortunately, there's not there's not one standard for how metadata is collected. And so we're kind of living in a world where this is kind of all over the place and everybody has a different standard. But by having a, something like Gizmo and putting everything in one place, then you can easily extract the information you need and you don't have to keep retyping people's names, which would, you know, introduce any, uh, it would introduce more variables and introduce the option, the opportunity to misspell people's names or get their numbers wrong. All you have to do is put your, their information in once. And then anytime you need their information, you bring it into the song, whether it's the contact, their IPI number, all that kind of stuff. If this interests you, there's a link below. It's free. And, uh, I have had a lot of friends tell me how helpful and life-changing this was for their music. So um, yeah, it's available if you'd like to get it. I do have more tabs in the paid version. I do have a paid version that's more for if you're pitching your song. So if you're interested in like pitching a song to different music supervisors or licensing agents, you can track the pitching and send emails out and track you know the clients and stuff you're wanting to go after through this area as well. But if you're not pitching and you're not worried about that, you just want to track all your metadata, uh, Gizmo, the free version, is perfect for that. All right, I hope that helps.